Hey, Shalom, Shalom, all praises, honor, glory go to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow brothers, pushing out this word in truth to say this, your brother Kanak. Coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. And this title of the video is going to be taken out of Revelation 12 and 11. And they love not their lives unto death. Now, who is that speaking about? That's speaking about the Israelites. The Israelites are the most high, the remnant, the elect. Okay, and we consider ourselves the hopeful elect. Because time will tell, or obviously, if, uh, you know, if we are the elect, once we get on, you know, uh, those chariots, and once the elect endure the things that are coming to the earth. And right now we're seeing, today is uh, what, February uh, the 19th, all our hell is pretty much breaking loose. You know, Texas is just, it's a third world country. You know, and these things are only gonna get worse. And, and you know, we're gonna experience some of these things. We're gonna experience a lot of these uncomfortable positions, okay, that these people are about to be placed in, okay? But all those things are, are trials for the uh, elect, just as the hour of temptation. All these things are leading into the hour of temptation. You think it's bad now? Okay, I, I'll, you know, I'll, you know, sometimes you got to take a break from, you know, just the computer. You know, I came back on the computer and it was just like, oh my goodness, just, you know, just wickedness everywhere. Just, you know, crime, you know, whoredoms, idolatry, abominations, you know. You have no rest for your soul here in Babylon the Great because it's constantly being oppressed. You know, and then I was just sitting here and um, just meditating on what a lesson that I wanted to do. You know, just waiting for the spirit to hit me. And this verse came up. Let me read the verse. I'm going to go up a little bit, but I'm going to read this verse first. This is uh, Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb. That's very important. Okay. Because Esau, he has it in his mind to destroy us. Okay? Esau, Edom has it in his mind to destroy uh, you so-called black Hispanic Native Americans. He knows who we are. Right? But he didn't account for the blood of the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai dying for the remissions of the, the nation of Israel's sin. Okay? Not, not the whole world. The Lord didn't come for the whole world. Okay? He came for his people. Okay? Matthew 1 and 21. Okay, the Lord uh, was uh, sent to the earth, okay, and, and flesh, in the flesh, to conquer, to conquer death, to conquer sin. Okay, so we can be brought back to the Heavenly Father. And now we are being brought back to the Heavenly Father. The Spirit is now being placed back upon us. We were in a dead, dead-like state, okay? So we, oh, we've already overcome, okay? We just have to play it out. And by the word of their testimony, which is this truth. Okay, which are these prophecies? And there's a lot of people that don't believe in it. Okay, that shouldn't deter you from believing in this truth. Okay, if you are called and your mind has been opened, you have been given the eye salve. Okay, don't let the incredulity, right? Second Ezra, the 15th chapter, don't let the incredulity stop you. Okay, the incredulity meaning the inability to believe. Don't let that incredulity of the unbelievers, you know, you know, come into your mind and, and distort your mind and take the faith that you have. Okay. Your, your faith should be constantly being built up. All right. Because the evil, the evil day is coming. All right. If you didn't know, if you're, if you, if you weren't paying attention, all hell is about to break loose. All hell is, is damn near breaking loose already. Okay. In certain parts of the States in certain parts of the world, uprisings of the people nonstop. All these draconian measures are, are, are being put in place. You know, power outages everywhere. And the power outage in, in, you know, Texas, you had in Oregon also. Though, you know, that's nothing new. These things have been happening, not only here in America, but throughout the whole earth. You know, Esau, Edom, he's, he, you know, he's going to attack that grid. And the main people that are going to be, uh, you know, uh, affected by these things, okay, are you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, okay? Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble is right around the corner. We're at the cusp. Okay. A lot of a lot of Jakes are already suffering, okay, since the this scandemic and prior to the scandemic, even you know, really 
ushering a lot of these things in. Jake was already suffering. You know, you, you was pretty much a paycheck away from being on the streets. Okay? And by the word of their testimony, which is the prophecies, by the way, right? Let me let me just go to let me just go to that. Because that's what separates us, right? That's what separates us from these other groups. You know, you have Israel, and, and you know, they're teaching you that you're Israelite. But there's more. There's, there's more than that. Cause all because just because you know you're an Israelite doesn't mean anything. Okay? You have to you have to come under that that you know that right path. Okay, you have to come on that straight gate. Okay, you have to call on those names. So let me bring this out, because that's what separates us from these other groups. Are um, is the prophecies? We push prophecies. That's the majority of what we do. Okay, but rather that you prophesy, as the scriptures say, this is Revelation 19 and 10, and I fell at his feet to worship him. This is John the Revelator. He saw the angel. The angel gave him the book. Right. He, uh, uh, John saw these different visions. He saw people getting chipped. He saw this digital world. And he saw Yahweh Shai coming back, cracking those clouds with an innumerable amount of angels. He saw America, which is Babylon the Great, being destroyed. Okay, and we're in that season. Okay, we're, we're definitely in that season in which, you know, hey, what is Biden saying? He's basically saying build back better. Uh, uh, essentially, what? Uh, peace. He's saying peace and safety. So you to you so-called black Hispanics and Native Americans, how he's going to do this, how he's going to do that, right? But that's how we know a sudden destruction is coming. And that, sudden, and that sudden destruction is going to come upon the majority of the earth, the majority of you Israelites, particularly here in the United States, unawares, because you, you uh, fail to realize that the, the Most High has his mouthpiece out there, which are the prophets, warning you of these things, okay? And it's all, it's all also prophesied that Two thirds are not going to get it, so we're not going to, you know, pull our hair out. We're just going to keep moving on. If you can't get this, we're not here to debate. We're not here to, you know, do this, do that. You know, we will answer questions, you know, sincere questions. We'll go through breakdowns for sincere, you know, brothers and sisters. But outside of that, you know, you got to get this on yourself. You know, you got to get this uh, 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 on your own. You have to work out your own salvation. Okay. And he said unto me, see, see thou do it not. I am, I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Now, he's, now the angel told John that, hey, don't, don't, don't bow your, your face to the earth to me. Because you got to realize when the, the, the angels come, their presence, you, you, hey, you can't just be in the presence of the angel like that, okay? You know? The angel had to pick John up and say, hey, look, I'm I'm one of your uh, fellow servants. I'm one of your brethren. So the angels, okay, the angels are our brethren, okay? The, the angels that, that protect the elect, okay, as well as the angels that's going to come to destroy this place, okay? They're going to be on our side, and we're going to see, we're going to see who's right in these last days, okay? We're going to see who has protection, because when that judgment comes, you know, it's it's either you're getting judged or that judgment is passing passing over you. Okay, it's one or the other. So it says, uh, "And of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai, worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy, and that's how we are. Oh, that's how we are going to overcome this this beast system. That's how we're going to overcome the Edomites and what they're bringing to the earth." Okay, it's through the blood, okay, of Yahweh Shai and the, 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 uh, and the spirit of prophecy, which is the testimony of Yahweh Shai. We're the only ones amplifying the names Yahweh and Yahweh Shai on the earth. Okay, you have other groups that, that might say that name here and there, but they really speak, you know, uh, politically correct. Okay, they'll say God, the Most High, you know, they'll say Christ, you know, which... We will say the Most High, you know, when we don't actually say the Most High's name, Yahweh. But for the most part, we're we're uh, pushing out those names, Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. When we bring, when we turn on the videos, who are we giving praise to? Okay, when we turn off the videos, who are we giving praise to? When we read, like here it says Jesus, right? We're, I'm not going to read the word Jesus unless I'm letting you know that you know I'm reading it verbatim. But I'm going to give you the correction. 
Okay, his name is Yahweh Shai. And he he is the one that's going to deliver us from this hell hole. Okay, because this place is, is a complete hell hole. All right? Hastening the the, the hastening uh, uh, of the day of the coming of the Lord. Okay? Constantly. Okay, our spirit is constantly crying out because we got to get the hell up out of here. Okay? And we're seeing the wicked be we're we're seeing the wicked start to get judged. And we're like, hey, Lord, Bubba Kasha, hurry it up. You know, speed, speed up the prophecies. And according to prophecies, that's what he's doing. The Lord is going to speed these things up. Okay, uh, Yahweh Shai is going to come back a lot sooner than when uh, people believed. Okay, even 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 us, man. Even us. Let me bring that up. I'm done there. Yeah, I'm done there. Let me, let me go. Let me open that up, and then I'll go back to Revelation 12. You know? Because I, I was, you know, I was meditating the other day, you know, I was meditating the other day and I was just, you know, watching different videos. I did a video the other day and just the things that are that are happening and how how so how quick these things are happening, you know, how quick these things can happen instantly. And I was just thinking to myself, hey, the things are going to move quick. The prophecy is going to move quick. It's going to be like boom, 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 boom. Esau is going to push that mark of the beast, man. We're not going to be here for years on end. You know, our mindset ultimately is to endure to the end. No matter how long Yahweh Shai has us here, our mindset is to endure. Okay, so let me bring this out. Um, was that Reb? Is that uh? I might be in the wrong chapter. Yeah, let me. I'm, I gotta go into Romans. I'm sorry. I was in Hebrews. <clears throat> let me bring this out really quick. Romans. 13 yep Romans 13 and 11 and that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep yes it's high time for you Israelites to wake out of that dead like state okay you calling yourself black you calling yourself Mexican or Puerto Rican or Dominican okay you believing in America you trying to you know uh, grow a, a business here in America to to prosper you know, you trying to, to, to gain wealth here in America to prosper. Now, there's a thin line, right? There's a line between, you know, using the world and not abusing it, not overusing this world. Okay, you if you do have a business, okay, you, you, you deal. But your mindset is not upon the business. Your mindset is upon doing what? Serving the Abba Shemal Shai. Okay, this work. Because according to prophecies, the Most High is going to close all businesses. Okay, whether you have a business or not, the Most High is going to shut it down. Okay, and that's and are we not seeing that? Are we not seeing that that these businesses are being shut down? Okay, so we we know the time. Okay, we we're measuring the time. How do you measure the time? Well, the Bible. The Bible is the measuring stick. Okay, this is this is the standard in which you will measure uh, uh, when the end of the end of the world will come. And because the, the Bible speaks about the end of the world, which the end of the world is meaning the end of an age, the end of the the rulers, the rulership of the heathen, okay, and the and the 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 nation that will be in power in the last days, according to precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, would be the Edomites, okay. Daniel had the prophecy, right? There's many prophecies that that showed us who will be ruling in the last days, and we know that to be Esau, Edom, the wicked of the earth. Okay, when the when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And is not the world in mourning? Okay, we can go through a thousand articles showing you that people are just, you know, killing themselves. Okay, they they their their diet is all bad. You know, they have negative energy. Okay, number one, they participate in in uh, abominations. Okay, which America is nothing but a plate full of abominations. Okay, a cauldron full of wickedness. And what do you think the Most High is going to do with this place? The Most High is going to burn this place up with all you wicked people in it, okay? And we're hastening that day, okay? Because you need to be burned up. And you jakes, uh, a, a lot of hell is coming to you, okay? A lot of hell is coming to you Israelites, okay? Uh, we're not going to lift up uh, uh, no cry, okay? We're not going to pray for you because you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna ask people to pray for you. You know it's going to be all over social media as it already is right now, okay? And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. See, it's a lot closer. 
Things gonna move quick, just like that that uh, you know that cold snap down there in the Midwest, and then it hit uh, hit Texas, and pretty much brought you know Texas to their knees in a matter of days. You know it froze the pipes, the pipes were bursting. You know you have flooding, you had that uh big car crash, a hundred pile uh car a uh, uh, hundred car pile up which killed I believe six feet six people. You got people dying in their cars. You got people just going, hey, it's it's cold, you know, and it's real hard. It's real hard to, to, to deal with that cold, man. You can deal with that heat, but you can't really deal with that cold, that extreme cold. Okay, people would drop dead. Okay, that snap, that snap uh, people with children, you know, little little infants, you know, you know, little kids. When that cold sets in, the hypothermia sets in, it's really hard to get warm. And now, you know, you Jakes don't, it's not like you have propane and you have generators and you have, uh, ele you have, um, you know, uh, electric panels on your homes. No, you're subject to what Esau Edom sets up. You're subject to his sewer system. You're subject to his uh, power grid. Okay. There's a video in Texas where there's parasites in the water. So you drink the water, there's water, but if you drink it, you're going to be poisoned. You're going to have parasites. Okay, you're going to get even more sick. And what do you think they're going to call that sickness? Hmm? You already know what they're going to call it. They're going to call any sickness you got, you already know. The thing, okay? So, hey, our salvation is nearer than when we believe because it's not going to take long for this place to crumble and collapse. It's only going to, it's not going to take long at all, okay? The way that this, uh, this system is, um, you know, it's uh, America is dependent on on these big big corporations man they're dependent on the on uh, uh, the electrical grid they're dependent on the the water system that Esau 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 Edom brings into these homes everybody's packed together nobody's spread out nobody has land nobody buys their crops nobody uh, uh raises their their livestock nobody know how to nobody even know how to make fermented vegetables okay so everything is is bought from the store so what happens when stores get shut down? What happens when people run into them stores and take, you know, and, and pillage them stores? Okay, or they um, they tell you you can only have a certain amount of goods or there's a lot of goods that are going to run out. Okay, the, the, hey, we're, we're, we're definitely in that time, man. So let me go back. I'm going to start closing it up. I didn't want to make this long. I'm going to hit the point. Revelation. I'm gonna I'm go up. I'm gonna go up maybe one or two verses, then I'm gonna come down and we're just probably close it out. And if you know the spirit don't give me another uh, scripture, this is uh, this is Revelation. I'm sorry. Give me a second. Because I looked up a word. I'm, I want to probably bring it out. Yeah. Give me a second. Yeah, Revelation 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now has come salvation and strength. So now has come salvation. We're in a time where salvation is about to come. Okay. We're not going to be here for another 10, 20, 30 years. Another five years, you know, in this hell hole. Hey, we're, we're right around the corner and we're hastening. Even more, man. This place is pure hell out here. Okay. Now has come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power. So the kingdom is coming. And the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. That's Esau Edom. He has a lot of accusing to do. Don't, hey, this dude, he going to accuse us too, man. He, he already got it in the books. He just waiting for the, the right opportunity. Okay. In which the Lord is going to allow him to accuse us. Okay, you're gonna have so-called Hebrew Israelite uh, terrorists. Okay, that's gonna just pop it up, spring it up out of nowhere, and that's gonna galvanize the people to come against the Hebrew Israelites. You know, they're gonna say black Hebrew Israelites. You know, they have the they have the uh, the the opportunity and the money and, and the resources to do those things. Okay, because they're the devil. Okay, yet they're they are not going to win. Okay, there's no weapon that's formed against us that's going to prosper. Okay, so Esau Edom, he's going try but on the, the left hand side is going to be destroyed okay for the accuser of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night and that's what they do 
okay? They accuse us of going off when they're the ones, they have the audacity. They're the ones who are placing these things in front of our people, okay? When we grew up, we didn't know we were Israelites, okay? The spirit had to wake us up. What, what were we being taught? We were, we were taught black. We were taught this. We were taught that. We were taught that if you wanted to make it, you have to be a rapper, okay? Or you had to uh, uh, train in a gym and, and become a, a fighter or, or, or NBA player. That was your aspirations or, 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 be, or bend the block or just, just hug the block and, and slang dope. And that was glorified, right? Shoot, kill, stab, take, rape. These are things that are pushed into uh, you, you Israelite communities, okay? The woman is uh, the the Israelite woman is a complete whore, okay? And the the Israelite man, okay, is 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 a is a sodomite, a uh, 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 simp, okay, a murderer, a thief. So we need saving, man. The the remnant are gonna come back to the Lord, and the Lord is gonna save the remnant. Outside of that, man, our nation is completely finished, and the Lord is gonna come back to destroy. Not only Esau, Edom, and the other nations, which they deserve everything that's coming to them, but he's going to destroy you Israelites also. Okay? You're going, you're going to be burnt up too with Esau, Edom. Okay? And you need it, man. Jake is completely wicked. All right? You just turn on, just, just go on social media, which I, I me personally, I, I stay away from social media, but every once in a while you'll tap in. And Jake is just going wild, man. Jake is Jake. Jake has to be destroyed, okay? Uh, the social media gave people to, a platform to run their mouth, you know, talk big words, you know, to 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 flaunt, to have pride, you know, to cap, you know, to flex out, to stunt, you know, to lie, just to be a complete demon. The Lord gonna shut all that out, okay? And they overcame him by the blood of the land. So we're going to overcome this damn devil. It's written already. Okay. Whatever this man has in, in store for the earth. We already know. We already know what he has in store. It's already written. And he wants to come and destroy the Bible. But he's not going to be able to destroy the Bible. He's going to have to just come in, man. He's going to have to just come in. Because what he's doing is not working. The deception is not working. He's going to have to just destroy us. Okay. And that's not going to work. That's when the Most High is going to. Raise up that standard against this, this, this devil. Okay, Esau, eat him. The Lord going to get you, Esau. Okay, every, 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 every sin you've done, okay, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it's going to come, it was well, came before the Lord, okay? And there's a judgment waiting for your ass. And when that judgment comes, man, we're going to just be singing, we're going to be dancing. Well, it says that we're going to dance in the blood of the wicked, Okay? Did not Esau, did not he uh, celebrate when he took us down, when he was chopping, chopping our heads off, raping our women, okay, decapitating us, castrating us, okay, placing, placing us in hardcore bondage, putting us in dungeons, starving us to death, okay? All of a sudden now, all of a sudden, he wants to be, he, he's your friend. The scriptures say, never trust thy enemy, man. Okay, and to you wicked Israelites, you Israelites that don't believe this truth, may the Most High destroy you. Okay, you and your family, uh, except you repent. Okay. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. See that? We're gonna, th this word, what we're, what we're preaching, we're going to overcome this devil by this. Oh, oh somebody came with my combo. Or you, you, you believe a, 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 in a false... In a false uh, uh, doctrine. I was like, oh, all right. Oh, okay. All right. We'll 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 see when judgment comes. We'll see when them deaf angels comes if you're going to be saying that, okay? And they love not their lives unto death, okay? Because we're ready to die, okay? If You know, we don't want to die, but if the most high, if that's what our lot, that's what we're going to do. Because it's, hey, what, what else is there, Really? Because really, if you die, your works are going to follow you. You're going to be good, man. It's not like we didn't get put to death in the past. It's not like we never suffer, suffered death, you know, in the past, right? It's just, it's just the sting of death, whether it be Esau chop our heads off or he comes in with his troops, shoot us. It don't matter, man. It, don't, it doesn't matter because we're going to come back. And those same people who did that, you're going to have the most eyes going to give you a mastery over them, you know? And you're gonna be able to do a lot more than what they meet, you know, what they've done, 
you know, to you in the flesh, which ultimately it's the Lord that's doing it, man. Everything that, that, that happens in the earth, Yah Basham Hashai sanction it, sanctions it. Okay, so what do what we, what is our, uh, our mindset towards that? Well, our forefather Job, he said, though he slay me, yet will I maintain my trust in him. Somewhere around those lines, I could have, I could have got off a little bit, but you know what I'm speaking, you know what I'm saying? Maybe put the, uh, the scripture in, the, um, description in the, in the comment board, you know, if you get a chance, but Hey, the scriptures say we're, we're not going to love our lives unto death. Cause Hey, what's, what's out here is nothing but death, man. This is Babylon, the great man, the land, uh, uh, of the, the shadow of death. Okay. You can walk outside and get shot. I mean, it's death everywhere. Well, this is a death style. You know, this America pushes a death style. Do what thou wilt. Okay, you're you're not gonna die. You can do whatever the hell you want to do. Okay, you want to be a sodomite? You can do that. You want to eat rabbit? Eat rabbit. There's nothing wrong with it. Esau says it's, it's just protein. It just has protein and amino acids. He'll he'll break it down scientifically. You know, he'll tell he'll tell you that shrimp is the best meat. Okay, so you can participate in anything here, in in Babylon the Great. Okay, but see, there's a consequence for that, and now those uh those repercussions are coming okay the repercussions of the wicked are coming therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth why why does it say woe because hey hey esau's coming in man he e is not playing e jake doesn't understand e is not playing there's the wicked elite in high places these principalities the 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 the, the elite bankers and they want blood. They want to destroy you. Okay? They want to destroy you. And they want to take the grass of the planet Earth and put a microchip inside everybody. Okay? They're on a whole different level of thinking. Okay? They're not thinking like a, a regular person. Oh, I just want money to and just buy an island and just chill. Nah, man. They're, they're on something totally different. Okay? They are the wicked of the Earth that the Most High created. Okay? He created them just as he created the elect. Our mindset is totally different from the world. Okay, we're on a different, we're in a, we're in a, we're uh, uh, on a different tune. Okay, we're in a different frequency, just just as the wicked is, man. The wicked, they're on a different frequency. Okay, it says, "Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devils come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he has but a short time." Yeah, he he's done. Okay, he's done. Esau is finished. All right, the elites are completely finished, but they're going to come in and try their, their best. They're going to do their best, which is the most high controlling them. OK, it's the most high controlling the wicked. They they lived deliciously. They they lived in pleasure. OK, they had they had everything that that uh, you you can you can want. OK, plus more. OK. And what did they do with it? OK. What did they do with the, the riches and, and the, the, you know, the power that the Most High gave to them? Well, they, they, they destroyed everything. So what is the, what is the Lord going to do with that wicked, that wicked steward that messed up his, because this is the Lord's earth, that messed up his earth and tried to destroy his people? What do you, what do you think he's going to do with them? He's going he's gonna to wipe them out. Okay, so you Edomites are going to get wiped out. Okay, so, you know, I pray that the lesson was edifying. Until next time, shalom to the elect.